Okay guys, 90 degree layer. We're gonna have five sections. And we're gonna start here in the middle of the eyebrows. This is how wide our section is gonna be. And it's gonna continue all the way to the nape of the neck. But first things first, section out each side. The width of the section you want. Find the apex. Once you find the apex, continue the section to the back of the ear. This part's also going to reflect the part you'll need on the other side of the head. So I'll put my clip in, keeping that hair out of the way. Now I'm back to the front. I find the apex by tipping the comb back and forth and also match it to the other side. And I'll also section this and get this out of my way. Now the same width, I'm going to continue into the back. So I'll take it right here, down, put this section together. If you do this right, the middle will section out itself for you and it will be little to no work. All right, I'm gonna stand on the left side of my client, and I'm gonna start at the back, and I'm gonna cut uphill. I'll position the client to make 90 degrees easier to get. So 90 degrees is gonna be straight out from the scalp at any point. So I'm gonna direct this hair straight out from the scalp, and I'm gonna cut a good portion so you can really see what I'm up to. Notice how I don't set my hair down. I'll keep it in the comb. making sure that before I cut, each section has been directed out to 90 degrees. Just following the same line that I cut. Be cautious of your head's positioning, because if you don't have it positioned right, you might not keep it at 90 degrees when you cut. Just following my same guide that I've created from the back, moving over top of the crown, the apex, and eventually into the fringe. And notice how I'm directing it on a slight angle to maintain 90 to reflect the curvature of the scalp. Take all the sections you need to make sure that you've maintained 90. So I'm going to go back through, just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything, adjust anything that maybe need adjusting. I'm going to cut the bottom just a little bit shorter because my top length was already pretty short in this mannequin. So now I have a nice guide to go with. Everything is nice and even. I'm going to start in the back right section. You want to make sure that you maintain uniform moisture when cutting this haircut, especially because if the hair is half wet and half dry, you're going to have all sorts of different lengths. So right now I'm going to make a nice pie shaping, include a good guideline in there with it, and watch me when I comb this out, I'll be able to see very easily my guide that I need to cut. See my guide? Mm -hmm. My guide's right there. It's actually on this side. And I can go ahead and cut. Direct out to 90 degrees. If you can't see my guide, it's right here. Now, let's say that you lose your guide, right? Let me finish off the section and show you what we can do if we lose our guide. Notice how I'll bend the hair over like that to show me my guideline. On this side is where the guide is. 
I can bend this hair over a little bit and see right where that guideline is. I'm going up and reflecting the curvature of the scalp. So basic rule, I will take half of this section with me for my traveling guideline and I'll leave half behind. I'm going to make another section. Say that you've lost your guideline. All I have to do is comb it out in a cross check opposite way and I can find my guideline very easily at any point during this haircut. Mm -hmm. So now that I have my section combed mm -hmm. together, I'll direct this out. You can see my guideline very easily. And I'm just going to move up the head with it, making sure that I'm reflecting 90 degrees and following the curvature of the scalp. Doing very much the same thing. I'm going to section a little bit of this out. Save me something to cut in just a minute. And I'm going to comb this trick. Like your big round one. Your favorite brush. Straight out. And you see my guideline right here. If you can't see it, I'll bend it over this way. Notice that now that I'm coming around to the edge of the hair, I'm directing it out on a slight angle to make sure that I'm maintaining 90 degrees and following the curvature of the scalp. And I'll take my last section and I have a big guide in there so you mm -hmm. can really see it. You see it? Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure that I'm holding it out at 90 degrees before I cut it. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Hold it out. If you can't see the guideline, the guide is actually in my hand. If you can't see the guideline, just take the back of the comb and push the hair over a little bit and you'll be able to see right where you need to be cutting. Okay, so now I can go ahead and cross check. I'll do my first cross check now to make sure that I stay on track for the rest of the haircut. Accidentally combed a little bit of this section in here, which is also going to be part of the front. So let's see, did I reflect the same shape as the scalp? This is where I'll do any little adjustments if I need to, to make sure that this hair is held at 90. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I'll direct this all the way up to the top, making sure that there's nothing like this. This is the time that you need to take to adjust it. Now that I know that that section is nice, and it's going to easily move into my next section. So I'm going to take my pie shaping all the way from the top to the bottom. I'm going to speed this up for you a little bit. The left side is the exact same as the right side. I'm just going to comb it out, work from my guideline, stick to the same shape as the scalp in your cut. Cross check, that's right. It's essential that you cross check, especially in the back here, because sometimes it can be hard to maintain the appropriate length. You're looking for the same shape as the scalp, which I do see. And let's just move up, putting all this hair in the comb. If there's anything I can adjust right now, 
I'll do my adjustments. And I've already cross-checked this side. Everything looks pretty good. I'll take a triangular section in the crown and cross-check the crown. If there's any corners I can round, this way I can reflect the same shape as the scalp. Take your time to do this step, it's the most important. Because your haircut is almost done, you're going to move into the front, and these two little sections are not going to take you long. If you take your time and take care of this section, you'll have no trouble going into the front. In the front, it's nice because we'll be working with two guides. I'll start on the right side. I'm going to comb down a nice guide here. And I'm going to include my mohawk section from the top. I'm also going to comb some of the piece that I just cut from the back. So if you're, you should not have any trouble finding your guideline in this section. If you notice, you'll be able to see the one from the back, which is not very much. See the one from the back, and I also have my guide from here. I know I'm safe to cut. Making sure I direct out 90 degrees. Let the back pop out. I can see what's going on. I can cut. Same thing. You can't see the back. I'll hold it out like that. Not much to cut there. In the future, you'll want to leave this section long. But this is the basic cutting technique, so I'm not going to elaborate on that right now. I can cross check out. Make sure that I'm still on track here and everything looks nice and even before I go any further into this section. Now, I have the same thing going on right here. I'll come from the top again. Same thing. Reflect the same angle. Let the back pop out a little bit so I can see, make sure I'm cutting it right. And you see that back guide right there, nice and easy. Find it. Cross check again. Make sure everything's nice. Moving into the front. Now I'm just about on my last section. So I'm going to make a nice guide. I have the guide section pretty thick. So this way, I can really see it. I'll start on the top again. Pulling my guide from the top. Moving in to the side. If you see, I have a guide right here. Mm -hmm. My very last section at the hairline want to make sure that I maintain that nice shape and that I didn't miss any because if I'm directing hair that grows from here straight out and I hold it like this, this is not 90, this is an over direction this is going to cause an increase in length when I, when I cross check it so look, I'm going to cross check right now I'm going to double check this whole section I should see the same shape as the scalp inside of it and I basically do there's little tiny pieces where I can soften the edge but basically it should wrap around just as the scalp does. And this is going to be one of the more important areas to do the cross check in where these two sections come together. There's usually going to be a little clean up there. And that's basically I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just going to have to cut it out, save some video time. But uh, if you want to learn how to cut the left side, it's the exact same as the right side. One last cross check. Check them where these two sections line up, see if there's anything you can soften in between. And just soften out any of those areas that may not be as even as you'd like them to be. Okay, everything has been cross-checked little by little. And I have complete my 90 degree haircut, which means that everywhere on this scalp will be the exact same length.